Peace researchers at the University of Illinois in Kwara State are advocating concrete steps to give special attention to the environment, this to mitigate the effects of climate change. And it's coming a few days after the world marked Peace Day with a special focus on climate change. Ibrahim Alege has details. It's a gathering of peace researchers, students and other key players in peace advocacy at the Center for Peace and Strategic Studies, University of Illinois. And just like the world focused on climate change last week on the occasion of the Peace Day, these peace advocates are also worried about the level of human displacement occasioned by the threat to the environment. Unfortunately, in spite of this centrality of the environment to sustainable peace, we have problem of uh, environmental degradation that has uh, seriously led to security threat and uh, the participants are worried about the attitude of the people towards the environment. This attitude was displayed along the University Road, Tanke, where residents have turned a section of the major road to a refuse dump site. The way you manage the environment determines environmental sustainability and our own sustainability as a human being too, and our own assistance inviting each one of us to take action in order to mitigate or control this spread of viruses, these frequencies of environmental disasters and all kinds of calamities we are facing. The Center for Peace and Strategic Studies, University of Illinois, is proposing the following for climate action for projecting peace. Integrating positive climate action with peace advocacy programs. Number two, inclusion of positive climate change action in peace studies curriculum. Number three, establishment of climate action for peace desk in relevant government ministries at local, state, and national levels. Participants at this program are advocating concrete and pragmatic steps to give special attention to the environment to mitigate the effect of climate change. They say if this is done, there will be peace of the environment and to a very large extent, peace of man. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ilorin.